Guys, mud. I went to the bank today and I got three boxes of quarters and two boxes of pennies. And one of the boxes of quarters I asked for uncirculated rolls. So I went ahead and I popped the top, and they are all Salt River Bay 2020s. Now I hadn't checked any of these for enders, hoping for a W. Uh, I don't know if I'll get it, but you never know. This will be pretty much a W search. Uh, these came from the Denver Mint, so I don't know. Hopefully, there'll be a, uh, a W or two in here. So I'll tell you what we'll do. Uh, let me put you down, and I'll flip them over. And we'll look at the other side. Guys, here's the other side. Get this light back a little bit. There we go. I looked and I did not see any W's on the end. Doesn't mean they're not in there. It's just I haven't seen one yet. So, I guess what we need to do is get to opening them. I want to go ahead and get my gloves on. Even though I normally don't wear them. But I want to get my gloves on. And we'll go through all 50 rolls and hope that we get a W. Guys, <clears throat> halfway through the rolls and uh, I hadn't found a W yet. So anyway, I'm going to keep hunting them. And if I find anything, I'll bring in. If not, I do have two circulated boxes that I can break out and we could uh, blend those into this video. So... Anyway, if I find anything, I'll bring you in. If not, we'll open up a second box and go from there. All right, guys, that's the end of that box. There wasn't a single W in there whatsoever. Uh, I did check a few here and there for die cracks and uh, little varieties and doubling and all that, but I'm not going to check every single one. We're going to get these rolled up, send them back to the bank. Somebody get some nice BU quarters. Uh, and I'm going to get another box and it'll be circulated this time, but then we may be able to find silver. So I'm going to bring up another box and bring you back here in just a minute. All right, guys, here's the second box. I haven't it opened it. I haven't opened it up yet. Sorry, but, uh, I know they're circulated because I can see it on the bottom, but you never know. Uh, there's a nasties. There are some 2020s in there. So we possibly could get some W's. But there's also some older ones. So, uh, maybe we can get silver. Me personally, I like bicentennials. So, alright, I'm going to flip them over. Set them out in front of us. And see if there's anything on the other side. Alright guys. Here's the other side. I'm not seeing any enders on there for silver. So we might as well pull out roll number one and get the hunting going. I'll bring you in on the first find. As roll one into this one, I got this uh, Harbor, Harper Ferry. And uh, I was checking for my die cracks on there. Look at that beauty right there. That is a nice die crack. So, we are on the board. It's not silver, or, you know, but still yet, that is a nice die crack. So, I'm going to continue searching the row, and I, if I find anything else, I'll bring you back in. All right, guys, same row, row one. Got our first bicentennial. So, and I collect all my bicentennials, so... I just like it. It's a little rough. I will check it for the uh, for the doubling on a DDO, but I don't don't really see that we would probably find it. It is kind of worn. So yeah, it's a little worn. So, 
Yeah, a little bit of doubling on it. Anyway, all right, I'll bring it on the next one. All right, guys, row five on this low quarter here. Uh, if you look in the bell tower here, it's filled in right here and all on this side right here. So we got some die chip in there. And that's the kind of things that we're looking for. So I know they're not much to any, a lot of people, but, you know, I like the oddities. So right now we got two die chips. I did find a... 1976 bicentennial d we already had the p so we'll finish row five if you find anything else i'll bring you back in all right guys row nine got another little die chip as you can see right here and that is on the voyagers on the back of the duck so there's another one all right if I find anything else, I'll bring you in. You guys, row 11. Got us another bicentennial out of Philly. I'll check it for the doubling. All right. I don't see it. All right, I'm going to finish this roll up, and if I find anything else, I'll bring you back in. All right, guys, same roll. Got another 1976 out of Philly. Check it for the double die. If I can get it focused in here. All right, I'm not seeing it. All right, if I find anything else, I'll bring you in. All right, guys, next find, row 13 on this uh, San Antonio Missions. Got that little piece right there at the bottom. So, all right, if I find anything else, I'll bring you back in. Guys, row eight. So, oh, I'm sorry, it's hitting eight, 18. And uh, we got us another bicentennial out of Philly. So that is five in the box so far. And uh, I hadn't really looked at the roll, but if I find anything else, I'll bring you back. You guys, row 20. We got us another bicentennial out of Philly. I'll check it for the DDO after the I hunt the rolls. And... Uh, I don't see anything else that I need to search. So, all right, on to row 21. And if I find anything, I will bring you back. Hey guys, row 24, I'm looking at this Salt River Bay. And you can see right here this little die chip. I'm shaking a little bit, but you can see a die chip right there. Makes it look like it's got more leaves on it. So, anyway, nice little find. I'll get it put up, and I'll see you on the next find. Hey, guys, I'm back. Uh, I just flipped this uh, Weir Farm over. I grabbed it off the roll. I saw this Weir Farm, and I was going through, and I looked, and then, bingo, was his name, O. My first W ever, right there. Now, it's not in the greatest condition, but I found one, and I already went through a complete box of uncirculated, and now I've got nine rolls left, ten counting this one, and I find one. So... Anyway, we're going to flip that up. My very first W. Sorry, kind of a little excited here trying to get the flip out. But, uh, yeah. So, I found the uh, Weird Farm one, which is pretty nice. 
I'm excited. Also, I have found some more bicentennials. I've already put some up, uh, but I'll bring them back out because I had to clear the desk off. But yeah, we're farm, baby. W. Awesome. All right. I'm going to get it flipped up and I will see you on the next find. All right, guys. Row 42. I got this block island. And uh, you can see the die chip right there on the back of the bird. Uh, not too much in the tail. I mean, it looks like it was starting, but oh, sorry about that. But that is a pretty good die chip right there. So I add that to the uh, book and I'll see you on the next find. Hey guys, well, I'm done with those two boxes. Um, let me tell you what we got. These 12 here, they all have some kind of die chip in them somewhere on the coin. I ended up with 13 bicentennials. And this 1970D out of Denver, I'll show you what, I didn't put it on the video. But if you look on the wing right there so you look from about right here down the edge of the wing down there's a die crack on that so that's why i kept that one just because it had that die crack sorry for the movement we had this uh 2005 kansas now it's not the uh sorry it's not the In God We Rust, it's the P, which I have one already anyway, but it would it was just so good looking that I just kept it because that's the best looking D that I've found. I've got some good looking P's, and I have the one God, In God We Trust. And the find of the two boxes was this 2020 Weir Farms W with the 75th anniversary privy. My very first WFM coin roll hunting. So I'm very excited about that. But anyway, I do have a third box and I'll probably hunt it by itself. I think we got enough finds in these two boxes to uh, make a video. So anyway, be sure to smash that like, subscribe and share if you don't mind. I really appreciate it. Anything that you can do will help. Subscribing, sharing, liking, it's all free. Doesn't cost you anything. So, like I said, I appreciate you coming by, watching the video, and I will see you on the next hunt.